Hello YouTube, this is Drawing Kid 1313 and welcome to episode 49 of my SMP Let's Play. As you can see I'm here, in this tower of chests, and I have uh, begun to organize everything a little bit. Now I had originally had everything, um, you know, kind of organized, hold on I'll show you. Let's go up here, nope. Not down here. Let's go up there. Nope, not down there. Let's go up there. That should work. <clears throat> Having some difficulties. It's early in the morning, so I'm still not fully awake. But, you know, whatever. So I originally had all of this stuff uh, organized, put into specific places, and all ready to go. But then... I looked at how much room I was using to store just those few items. Like, I had some items like, uh, let's see. This only got, like, one chest. This got, like, one group, which is three chests. Like, this got two groups, which is, like, six chests. And I started thinking, I didn't want to throw that. Oops. And then I started thinking, I'm like, wait, hold on. Whoa, 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 wait. I'm going to have 984 chests total in this whole storage area. I am going to have more chests than items if I don't use the chests like I should. So basically I rethought everything because I originally had a list uh, kind of made out of some of like the uh, the building blocks that I have and you know how many chests I want to allow each group to have and like for example cobble got three groups which would be one two, and three. I would have these nine chests. And I actually think I ended up giving it four groups. But, I'm like, wait, that's it's not even like close to like how much I could use for that. Like, I could have pretty much like one whole section devoted to cobble if I really wanted to. Uh, so what I did is I just made this whole row. This whole back row is all cobble. As you can tell from the item frames. A lot of it was also... Well, maybe not right there. I didn't want to rotate that. A lot of it was also laid out like this. You can see I did all that fun stuff. That way we can keep things organized um, as we please, which will be really cool. Um, I did some with the sand as well. So the sand takes up just this whole thing right here. All right. And then we have sandstone on this side. So sandstone, 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 sandstone. And then on this whole section, we have smooth stone or smooth sandstone, and then we have the creeper face sandstone right here. Um, on the other side, we have stairs taking up these ones, and then we have half slabs taking up those ones. Uh, and then over here we have some dirt taking up this side and the other side. See? Other side. So it was a lot of work. First off, it was a lot of work to get everything out of this chest up there and bring it down here. And then, you know, after realizing, oh, well, this isn't exactly how I want it laid out. You know, having to take everything back, um, you can only hold a half chest full of things at a time. And it was just very difficult to move everything. But I did it, and now I'm starting to move everything back. Um, let's see, I just finished the dirt. I need to get the grass probably next, but I also have smooth stone. I didn't really think about that, because I kind of want the smooth stone to go where the dirt goes right now. <clears throat> so I think we may have to do that. So let's just get some of those, and then let's go down here. I've been using a lot of ender pearls for this, because it's a lot, a long way to travel. Especially when you do that often. Um, wow, look at, look at all those mobs. Just insane. Okay, let's go down here. Thank you. Let's go down here. I'm going to need to repair my boots soon. But uh, yeah, I think I want smooth stone to like be right here. Because I don't want to have, like, cobblestone, dirt, smooth stone. No, that won't work. So I'm going to have probably smooth stone take up where the dirt is taking up, and then have the dirt take up all these chests, and then around as well. So we'll do that. I think that's going to work a lot better. But of course, it's going to take a while, because first off, I have to destroy all the item frames and all that. But that's not really the worst part. The worst part is probably having to move all this dirt. We have all that. Good thing I haven't like laid it out in the chest like I have the other ones. So I'm happy about that. I'm very happy about that. And uh, 
Yeah, so let's just go ahead and remove some of these. Shouldn't be too difficult. I've done, I've done it before. I know that. But, um, yeah, I'm really, really excited about this storage area. We're going to... Oops, I didn't want to... Okay, good. Um, I right-clicked. But I didn't want... You know... Oh, wait, no, I forgot what I was going to say. You know, I've been wanting a storage area for a while. And uh, I'm just really looking forward to this. And I think it's going to be... It's definitely going to be a lot of work. There's no doubt about that. Um, it will be a crap ton of work. It's just so many things to to do and, like, so many things to lay out and, you know, items to move and just all that fun stuff. And uh, not only that, it doesn't only stop there. It's going to take a lot to, you know, actually keep everything organized because we're going to have this thing expanding over an 80-wide diameter uh, circle that we have right here, 81-wide, I guess you would say. And, uh, you know, to put things away, it's going to be a little bit difficult at times, but I think it'll be worth it. I also kind of wanted to change up my uh, design that I have right here just a little bit, because um, I want to incorporate crafting tables uh, along with uh, furnaces. Um, I was also kind of thinking that maybe in the middle right here we could have some furnaces, and we could just have them kind of dressed up a little bit. Um, but of course dressed up in a way that they're not in the way of the staircase, that might be a little bit difficult though. So I was thinking maybe we could just, you know, have them, uh, the crafting tables could be like underneath of the little things. You can put those every so often, like maybe like one right there, one right there, just like in the beginnings. And then in the middle we could have crafting table right, right there or something like that. Um, but I definitely want to have crafting tables involved in this whole thing. Um, another cool thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to have some type of water break system uh, put into place in the middle here. So I think that would be really cool um, because, you know, one, I'm kind of tired of having to go up and down the stairs or just use a crap ton of ender pearls wherever I want to go. But, you know, it's whatever. <sighs> By the way, we have Christo DK on with us, which is awesome. Uh, I'm not too sure what he's working on. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and replace all these item frames. I don't really have too much of a plan for this episode. Uh, we're kind of just, you know, going to continue working on this. Um, which isn't bad. Like, I always feel bad when we just have an episode full of building. But then I think, I, I like, really think about it. I sit down, I'm like, wait, hold on. What exactly would we do instead <laughs> What What is the game of Minecraft, right? You, you think about this, and you're like, well, Minecraft is a game of building. So how would I feel bad when we have an episode where we just build stuff? So I think it's, you know, it's alright to have an episode of building stuff and kind of working on things and designing things, and I know where I want these to go. Wait, no, I don't. I lied! Yeah, I thought they go right there. There we go. Yep. Alright. So, now we just have to put smooth stone there instead. Um, which, as I found out, I'm not sure if I did this, I think I found this out during the stream, but if you're far away from an item frame and you try to place a block, it's not going to place it on the actual item frame. It's going to place it on, on top of the block. Like, see how the block is kind of outlined? You know, when you mouse over something and it outlines it? The block is outlined right there. But if I step a little bit closer, the item frame is selected and the block is not outlined, uh, which I think is kind of interesting. Kind of makes it a little bit of a pain because we have to stand really super duper close. And yeah, I've been waiting for it to be nighttime because I want to find out uh, about light levels and stuff. So right now, we're about at 10, 12, 11. Over here, ooh. It's a 7 right here. Wait, no, it's an 8 right here. So I don't really think that they could spawn right here. But right here is a 7, so they can spawn right here. But not if we have the storage area on the other side, because it would be a, uh, a 10, 9, and then the middle would just be an 8, which is completely okay. And the middle level does not drop below an 8. Correct. Of course, I do have lamps up there kind of messing things up. And then, you know, right here, it doesn't really matter what the lighting level here is because it's all half slabs, uh, which is cool. But I do like how we incorporate glowstone into this whole build uh, to keep, you know, everything lit up. It'll also look kind of nice from, you know, underneath. Let's go over here. 
I need to finish the uh, staircases and extend them downwards just a little bit. Um, so, you know, oh, that guy is going to shoot me. Not anymore. That guy is going to shoot me. This guy is obnoxious. You can die in a hole. I think that zombie just, or that uh, skeleton just died. Alright, so from underneath. Yeah, doesn't look too bad. I also kind of like how, um, well, one, it'll provide lighting, or a little bit of lighting, really not much. It actually probably won't even matter um, with, you know, the next level down, because there's eight blocks in between, and that just really isn't anything. See, yeah, look at all the bats when it turns nighttime. It's just insane. There we go. Killed you. These guys, look at how many skeletons, like this, I never really needed the mob spawner, you know, I just needed this area right here, it's really big, and dark, and can just spawn billions and tons of mobs. Um, but one thing that I really do like about this whole storage area, you know what, fuck you all, you just won't stop spawning, will you? Well, one, one thing I like about this area right here, this floor that we have, can, can I get up please? Jesus Christ is that it's not, you know, just a full thing. We didn't completely have to cover everything and make it so that you can't see the sky at all from here. Now, granted, a lot of it is kind of covered up. Where the hell is the sky? Um, a lot of it is covered up, but I still think it's good. Um, this is something that I'm going to try to do when I have the next floor down, which is going to be um, pretty much all about animals. I'm going to have different animal farms in each little space. And, you know, I could just, you know, fill it all in with grass. I could do that. But I don't really want to do that because then it would block out everything. And I want I want it to feel like it's open when you're down in the lower levels. Now, you know, as you go down and down and down, it's going to be more difficult to feel like that. But I think it'll be something cool because I always wanted everything in here to kind of be out in the open. Uh, which will be nice. Let's continue putting the smooth stone on here. Something that's kind of dangerous, the farm right there is not completely lit, uh, lit up so I have had a creeper jump down because uh, they jump down now from higher spaces they calculate the amount of damage and if it's worth it and uh, you know I've had him jump down and he like kind of snuck up behind me but it didn't explode um, I kind of saw him last minute and then I backed away and then I killed it with my bow that was back when I was building this whole thing though I didn't have all the chests and I'm tired oh, oh, oh. We're also going to have to move the uh, dirt, the chest, or the dirt that is in those chests as well. Kind of a random thought, and it didn't really go with what I was talking about at the moment. But, you know, that's what happens when you stay up until 2 a.m. Uh, the previous night, and then you, you know, try to record. I mean, you know, granted it is 11, 11.30 almost, but really, I don't know, I'm just always tired. There's really no, no time where I'm not tired, I guess. Except for yesterday where I had a coffee, I had two coffees, and uh, I was pretty, you know, energetic. So I had to work yesterday. Um, day went by really slow yesterday. Went by extremely slow. I can not even explain to you, like, just the, the want coming from my very soul of just wanting to get off of work. Like, I just wanted to leave, call it a day, go home. Just took forever. It was a very long day. Yeah, no, I threw gunpowder overboard. I don't care. All right, so we have that. We're just gonna kind of move this. I don't know if I want the dirt to be right here. Because let's think about things. I have, I have cobblestone. I think kind of in the middle of this, I'm going to have like the cobblestone walls and the cobblestone half slabs. But you know, I'm not too sure. Maybe I should have the half slabs right here. I should have the half slabs, the stairs, the walls, all right here. I'm going to have smooth stone, maybe right here and right here. Uh-huh. Then I could have the dirt right here, possibly right here. So this would all be dirt chests.
There we go. Alright, and then we could take these down over here and just put the cobblestone stuff in here. Unless we wanted to continue it outwards, and maybe in this storage area what we do is we have, um, you know, the cobblestone kind of continued and we have the cobblestone walls. That's an idea. This will kind of be like most of the raw materials, except for, you know, we already have this, this half slabs in the stairs. Full of sandstone, but it's alright. I'm so sorry that I keep you on, you guys. I deeply apologize if uh, this episode isn't as exciting as it usually is, but I should make up for it in the next episode because I'm going to open up something that a lot of you have been waiting for, and I'm thirsty. Hold on. There we go. I have my, my root beer. Very good. I was thinking about getting a coffee this morning, but I decided against it. It's a little bit of an expensive habit, you know, and you kind of have to ask yourself, well, is this worth it? Do, do I really need this coffee? The answer was yes, I really need the coffee, but the answer was also yes to, I kind of want to save money. So, you know, you know which one won. Alright, so, yeah, I think that's a good idea. We'll kind of continue the cobblestone. The cobblestone walls and stuff will be over here. Same with all the uh, the smooth stone uh, things that we have. It'll kind of be continued over here. We'll have the smooth stone slabs and then... Uh, maybe the bricks, unless we want the bricks to be right there. As always. Um, alright, so. Okay, well, you know, you could just ask me where I am and then leave. I guess that's cool. So let's move some stuff. Let us move some stuff. So I did a lot of work uh, during the live stream. Can I just please shift click? Thank you. I did a lot of work during the live stream. We got a good, good amount of stuff done. I live streamed uh, Thursday night. Yes, Thursday night. Uh, I did not get to the live stream yesterday, which I was very sad about. Stop dropping your pickaxe, man. Um, but yeah, I did not get to live stream last night. I didn't even get to upload a video yesterday. And uh, I was very sad about that. Where the hell did I put the dirt? Alright, let us move the dirt. You know, actually, we did want all the dirt to be here, didn't we? Yeah, alright. Well, it's good. That's good. This is what we want. I have everything thought out and planned out. And yeah. This is exactly how I want things to work. So, did, like, I don't know. It's just difficult, because I don't really have everything built out. And I tried, you know, doing that thing where I write it all out. But, you know, as you can tell, since I had everything laid out, kind of, I really kind of underestimated the amount of chests and just the, the sheer amount of storage space that we have in this area. It is just ridiculous how much we, how much things, or how many things we can store and all that, so and I really just kind of had to rethink everything and be like, alright, we have more room than we think, let's go ahead and just completely go ridiculous with the amount of storage uh, capacity that we give each item. Uh, as you can see, like, I don't know, I don't even know how many groups or how many chests are now just devoted to cobblestone. But, um, now I know we will never, probably, never fill up all of these chests. But, it's worth it. It's pretty cool. I think it's, it's awesome. It's just, you know, generally awesome. Alright. So, now I have our dirt laid out. Um, we can continue to... Move some cobblestone down, but I'm going to cut the recording here, see if we can think of anything else that we really want to uh, record, and then we'll uh, we'll be back, hopefully with something a little bit more entertaining for you guys to do, to watch. Yeah. Alright, so I want, what I think I want to work on are these little water breaks that I was talking about uh, earlier with this. And, you know, the cool thing about a water break is that, yeah, I know I destroyed that. Oh, I still got four because this... Wait, no, it's not. It's not fortune. Where is efficiency? Five! Which really, I don't see a difference, but whatever. Anyways, um, you know, with like a water break, usually you just go all the way down and you stop at your destination. Well, with this, we're going to have multiple floors. It means multiple destinations. Um, oh yeah, this pick has silk touch on it, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, that has multiple destinations, so... 
we need to find kind of a good way so that we can... Oh, look at that. <laughs> Looks like I was just covering things up, wasn't I? I still missed one. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, so we have different places that we can go to, different floors that we can stop at. And I want to make a little system that will allow us to stop at the floor that we want. Um, and I could do this many ways. I could do this with redstone, uh, which I think would be really cool. No, you know, maybe, just maybe we could do that. Alright, I'm thinking the way that we do that. Hold on, that wasn't supposed to be dug out. That was just like that, right? Yeah. Alright, so I'm thinking the way that we do that is we have a set of buttons up at the top. We have, it's going to probably use a lot of glowstone because, wait, no, can that work? No, because glowstone can only be used for bringing a signal directly up. We have to bring it down. It's kind of difficult, isn't it? This is quite the challenge. And probably something that I should experiment with in creative mode before I do anything with you guys. Found the water. Found the water. It's driving me crazy. I'm gonna get rid of it. All fixed. Look, iron. Always need iron. That's another thing that I really want to do. Um off camera probably after this episode or so is uh you know just go mining again you get a lot of iron still need a good bit more I feel like that's for the uh yeah oh look at that I should fill this all in no I'll just light it up Alright, there we go. So now where were we? I don't know where we are now. But that spider is annoying me. Oh, come on. So made that jump. There we go. Alright, so let's just kind of seal that off. Alright, so right now we only have two different options, but eventually we may have three, four, maybe five options uh, to choose from. So we have to find a convenient way of, one, getting a redstone signal down. Well, let's go up, see the room that we have to work with. So up here, where could we put buttons? Like, we could probably put them, like, right here, so... Get out. Right there. We can have buttons. Alright. Right, that doesn't work anymore. And then we could press the buttons, and then we say magic, and then everything should work. Sadly, that does not work like that. What is that noise? Where is that chicken? Whatever. Alright, so... Yes, this is kind of difficult. I'm recording. Alright, so... Let's focus on just getting those red sand signals down. Alright, um, I feel like if we do that, we really should move these closer. Or maybe we should just put them over here. So eventually all this will be gone. And we could just have... Whoa. Oh, I found it. 
All right, so let's see. I'll be right back. Let me think a little bit. Um, see if I can't find a good way to just get everything to work, more or less. All right, so what I tried to do is I went into my test world where I have the uh, world download, and I have come to a um, very concluding conclusion. <sighs> I give up. <laughs> I hate Redstain. So I don't really know how to do that. Um, there's also really not too good of a way to make water breaks in this because as you can see it just, just doesn't work um, and actually I do have kind of an idea and we can try here um, we're gonna have just a one by one tunnel in the middle alright just one by one so let's go ahead and make that alright and basically I think the plan is going to be to have you know each floor separate and then you just press a button, it'll release a piston um, that's, you know, extended, and it'll retract it, that way you fall, and then, you know, you go down to the next water break. I think that's the best solution for this, um, and by best I mean easiest. So, we're going to try that, and uh, see how it goes, and then, uh, yeah, see. see what we can do, and if it is, you know, as easy as I'm thinking it should be, we'll go ahead, we'll build it on all the other ones that we do, and uh, it'll be awesome, and our base will be sweet. So let's go ahead and do that, just kind of, you know, try and fill everything in, not like that, alright, I guess we could do it like that. Um, so, I just got a message from a friend. Um, and by friend I mean like an actual friend who goes to my school that I know I'm in real life. Um, and apparently on Twitch TV there's a uh, annual Extra Life program, Play Day, where it's like a 24 hour live stream to raise money for sick kids or something like that. Um, and it sounds like a really good thing to do, so I think I may uh, participate a little bit in it if I can. Um, and I don't imagine there being a, like, channel size limit for that kind of thing. <laughs> um, that'd be kind of sad if, it, if there was. But, um, yeah, so I might try that. I'm gonna get back to him. He just messaged me a few minutes ago, so I'm gonna message him back, see what we can do. Alright, so, let's go down here. Um, so, I, like, I'm just kind of telling you guys that to, you know, maybe keep an eye out for it. Pretty cool. Alright, so let's go down here. We want the piston to pretty much be right there. Inside the roof. I don't really like that. What if we put it right there? The piston right there. Uh, we have... So the piston will retract, or it will extend rather and what will happen is there will be a block that gets pushed right there so the water break will be like right there and then the button will be right here so on the other side of this button if the piston is going to be right there you know this will be a lot easier if we got a piston let's, let's get a piston I had no idea where that end roll was going to land me uh, so let's go ahead, let's get a piston, place it down. Probably get a few redstone materials too, as well. You know, why not? Um, so just like a stack of redstone, a torch, and we have stone for a button. I like how the buttons are only one piece of stone now. Makes so much more sense. It's like, hold on, hold on. I combine two pieces of stone, and I get one small button. I don't see your logic. It's not where I wanted that. I didn't want to remove that block either. So let's put our piston right there. All right. Um, our button, as I said, is going to be right there. So if our button is right here on this one, 
means that we should have kind of a redstone torch going right there. Um, actually, let's take this out. So we have our button right there. That won't work. Your button should be on this side. So we'll put our button right there. Alright, let's put our button right there. Button right there. And it'll go over. I think a good way to do this, actually, to do that, the button, take the redstone signal, hold on. Oh wait, no. Alright, so we take the redstone signal from there, let's get some redstone in our hands. We go down, so the, the redstone torch will be right there, and I'll keep it extended. The redstone dust will go right there. So that, oh, please let me go. So that when you press the button, nothing happens because this is technically a butt switch. What well, if we make this extremely large and have to go all the way around? Into the staircase, even. I can't put it there. God damn it! Okay. I should be able to put redstone there without affecting it. Then go around. See? It works! Okay, so that that kind of works. That kind of works. That is pretty cool. <laughs> so much for that. <laughs> All right. I don't know what they're doing. I don't really care. All right. So the water f the water break will be right there obviously it'll be actually right there and then now when you press the button releases it just long enough for you to fall doesn't take up too too much room I guess I can cover that up cover that up pretty sure I can cover that up no I can't no I can't no I can't no I can't don't do that whoo <laughs> <laughs> no, I cannot put a block there. Um, and then we can just do this. There we go. So now push the button. Boom. That's actually not too bad. Kind of like how that works. Now let's go ahead and get some ice and some signs so that we can make the water break. And uh, after we do this, we'll go ahead, check the time of the video, and see if we can end the episode or not. Um, because I have a few things that I want to do today. Uh, I actually went to a college because, you know, as some of you may know. I hear footsteps. It's probably just an animal or something. Oh, well. Um, but as some of you, some of you may know, I do part... Let's see if we can kill him. Oh, he's not invisible. I thought he was invisible. Well, <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> he's distracting me. So let's get that. Let's get our... Ice. Okay. Let's get our ice. And, uh... You know, actually, we don't even need... 
Hanks! Thanks! Uh, well, that was kind of backwards, but you know. You get the point. Okay. We don't even need signs. Okay, yeah, we do, because this will cause an update, so. For the safety of things, let's use signs. Actually, not use signs. Let's live on the wild side of things. There we go. Wait for it to melt. Alright, so here we are at the top of the thing. Right there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so... It's not that far of a drop, but it is enough to need two levels of water and not just one. So I have two levels of water. Fall down. Bam, you're right here. Press the button. Bam, you're right here. Now there's another button, but I had to put it right there because... The uh, piston is actually on that side, since on this side we have this. We were running, we were running into it, so we kind of have to make the piston and all the redstone go on the side that you know has the wall. So, yeah, uh, which actually we'll probably run into a problem with that, since yeah, since we're digging down there. I don't know. I'll deal with it later, <laughs> but for now it works, and um, it's. Pretty cool. I enjoy it. Just a nice way of getting up and down. Now, it doesn't... Um, like, it doesn't really provide a nice way of getting up, so... I guess I'll just stick to ender pearls. <laughs> but, um, so I'm not too sure how long this episode has been. It could be 30 minutes for all I know, but I haven't really checked the time. So, I am going to call it the end of the episode here. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, you know, stay tuned for if I do anything on Twitch. I don't know. Let's figure it out because I do have to work tonight. So who knows? And again, thank you for watching, subscribing, supporting, and all that. Leave a like if you liked it and all that fun stuff. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode.